Hey friends, today is a great day because it is phase one of opening up Central Florida. It's the first day of it actually. And a lot of the local restaurants and retailers are opening up here on International Drive. So I decided to come over and just give it a little peek see and check it out. Anywho's, let's go do this. And I want to say thank you to Amber for making me this wonderful face mask. Mickey, look at him. I am going to be wearing a face mask as I get closer into the Icon Park area, which is where you see the wheel at Icon Park, or formerly known as the Orlando Eye. And then we have the Star Flyer right here. I wish that I could actually take a scooter ride around like I did uh, just a couple of weeks ago, but the scooters are gone. Like they took them away. So no scooting around tonight, I guess. As we start walking into Icon Park towards the wheel, notice like they have the music just be bopping over here. And there's nobody here. Look at, got an Orlando snow cone stand right there. I do want to point out one thing on the Orlando snow cone stand. They actually have a flavor called zombie virus. Little strange. Lots of restaurants advertising that the dining rooms are now open. We got Carrabba's, Outback, Shake Shack, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Yard House. All open and ready for business, but only at 25%. The 25% is part of the stipulations for the local businesses to open up. Uh, so they can basically seat 25% of what they normally can seat in the restaurant. So if a restaurant has seating for 100 people, only 25 people at a time. And all of the employees have to wear face masks, gloves, sanitize, and everything has to be disposable. But even though we've got the okay go to open up retail businesses some businesses decided to just stay closed like the flip-flop shop usually it's very crowded and busy over in this area we're gonna make a turn right here and face the orlando eye or the wheel peeking right over the building there All right there she is look at that big beautiful wheel and wow, like I said, nobody. A lot of people are just self-quarantine at this moment. They can be out, but they decided to stay inside. And it is just so beautiful over in Icon Park itself. I like the waterfalls that they have on both sides. And I just like it over here. It's a very nice, chilled out, relaxed atmosphere. A little bit peaceful if you take away the music and all we got is the sounds of the waterfall. Inside Icon Park, you do have Sea Life, the Orlando Aquarium, the wheel at Icon Park, and Madame Tussauds. Another restaurant, the Sugar Factory, is actually open and has outdoor seating. Very interesting. If you know a lot about the Kardashians, you might know a lot about the Sugar Factory. Things that are not allowed to be open are bars and service friendly uh, establishments. So barber shops, uh, nail salons, stuff like that where you have to have close contact with the guests. So places like the Tin Roof here, not open yet. But they did just dump their ice out over here. It's a good way to get rid of it. And all the restaurants that are actually inside Icon Park have little tents and tables out here. And they're basically for takeout and delivery people. And they have to actually run the food out to their designated tent. So like right here is the yard house tent. And they actually have to run all the way from over there and then bring it over here whenever the driver or pickup person comes and gets it. And it looks like a couple people went over to the grassy knoll over there and they're just admiring the view but that's the first people i've seen so far that are just kind of gathered and hanging out over here yard house also has a little pretty patio seating area look at these little flowers they make it a little quaint and i think i'm done visiting icon park for now I'm gonna move on down international drive and see what else they got going on Thank you. 
gonna take the mask off because I'm heading back to my car. It's really hot out today. I think it's in the 90s. Whew. But take a look at that. It's still so bright out, but we see the moon appearing in the sky. That's a pretty pick. Yeah, just like I thought, it's 92 degrees out. I need to get some gas as well, but also I'm gonna sanitize my hands with Big Machine. This is straight up alcohol sanitizer. It smells just like whiskey. I don't prefer it, but this is what I got to work with, people. <laughs> One thing I do want to point out, they picked the perfect time to actually repair the sidewalks on International Drive because there's hardly any foot traffic down here now. Pulling in the Hulk Hogan's Beat Shop and they got a Popeyes behind it. <laughs> it looks like Hulkamania is not open or running wild on you, but how cool is that? We're going to take a look in from the outside because they are closed. They have a whole entire wrestling ring in there. Some cool statues and then some awesome cool wrestling merchandise. I can see right here you got Kevin Owens glasses, Brock Lesnar, of course Hulkamania glasses, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. It's really nifty. One of these days I got to come back here and check this place out. Can't even sell discount tickets. Free $100, look at that. I just love the gift shops that they have down here. They're so colorful and themed. Just take a look at that storefront. There is a picture of a loaf of bread. <laughs> oh, and some bologna and hot dogs. <laughs> I decided to pull into a little plaza here and across the street, we have the Titanic Museum and Zombie Outbreak. Both of those are not allowed to open yet. They're not a part of phase one. But also, they have a new restaurant right here called the Juicy Crab. Now, this restaurant was set to open the week everything shut down. Can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> having a grand opening and then the whole country shuts down? And take a look at the billboard they have up there. Hop aboard Disney's Hollywood Studios for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm so glad I got to ride it before the park closed down. It's a fantastic ride. They sure do have some weird naming stores down here. Subs, Lotto, Beer, Wine, Smoke. <laughs> Subs, Lotto, Beer, Wine, Smoke. Thank you. <laughs> Another strange thing to see down here is the Magical Midway which used to be home to the star flyer here but now the world's tallest star flyer is at icon park and you can see there's just a bunch of birds up there see them and it just looks so empty here and they have the tallest slingshot in the world right here and you can see it just sitting there with a tarp over it but soon to be replaced over at the Icon Park area, they're gonna have an even bigger one. That's gonna be the tallest slingshot in the world. That's gonna be really cool. They have goat carts going on in here. Just crazy to see an empty little park right here. I wish I could get in there. <laughs> I really do. Oh man, I would have a ball if I had a park all to myself. I could see they got little goat kart tracks over there, right here junior go-karts and then that's a go-kart track the ones that go up on the hills and stuff like that very cool i would even say it's pretty nifty hmm. oh look at that we are now entering orlando the city beautiful traffic is still just very empty also look at all the signs dining room open dining room open letting people know come on in even the Venezuelan burger. Look at those guys. Gonna drive through the endless summer resorts. These are Universal Studios value resorts. And actually one of them was planning on opening the same week that the state shut down, the country shut down. So that's postponed until further notice. Driving around, I realized that there's not really much to do with out any of the attractions open like yeah 
the restaurants are open and only about half of them are open the other half decided to stay closed and uh, some of the retail stores are but no attractions, no like museums, none of that fun, cool offering stuff that International Drive usually offers. I do want to point out one thing though. If you plan on dining at Olive Garden, watch out for the parking lot because there are nesting hawks and they may be aggressive. So use caution. Just want to make sure <laughs> none of them are around. <laughs> I circled back to where I actually started because I was going to get something to eat and I was looking for places on International Drive that was family owned and operated and there's not that many. I mean, it's very expensive. The real estate over here is very expensive. So family owned operated restaurants are not very common. And I stumbled upon Vincenzo's, which is family owned and operated locally right here in Orlando and it's an Italian cuisine right up my alley so let's check it out and they do have available seating I think that they are abating by the 25% they should everyone should but they actually have a little added benefit because they have outdoor seating I do want to dine inside though seems so strange to be in a restaurant and it's pretty empty in here but look at the menu I am excited you guys know I love Italian food. Garlic bread, oh yeah. Oh, where's the soup? Pasta fagul. And then some other really good ones here too. Oh man, we're definitely having pasta tonight. <laughs> it's a very nice atmosphere in here. And even though I do work in the restaurant industry, I've been in restaurants this whole entire quarantine time. It's just nice to be able to go out, have a meal and I'm kind of excited because if I like a good Italian restaurant, then I will be a loyal customer. Like, it's hard to find good Italian food, especially in Orlando. I know I talk about this all the time, but it's just how I feel. I feel like I needed to get the garlic bread, and also I got the polo al parmesan for chicken parm, but no melted mozzarella, so just the chicken, the sauce, and the pasta. I'm excited. Also, I got myself a nice Italian beer to go with it. And look at that. I love Moretti. And they even give it to you in a Moretti glass. Fancy! <laughs> That's good. The music in here is amazing. I don't know if you can hear that, but wow. Look at the bar area. When I'm a creep. And garlic bread is here. Look at this. Oh, that is perfect. Wow. Oh boy. Decided to get a little marinara sauce with it. And boy. This looks good. That is amazing garlic bread. I decided to take a couple pieces off so you can get a good look at it. But wow, that's a lot. And I think this was only $6, which is really shocking because like, that is some of the best garlic bread I have ever had. Very nice dining room in here. All tables, just very quiet. I am the only one in here now. So <laughs> I didn't want to show before because there was a table sitting over there. And uh, I like it in here. Very nice, nice lights. Oh yeah, and there it is. The main course. Pasta looks good, chicken looks good. I'm excited to try this. Oh, this pasta is phenomenal. Oh boy. And look at that chicken. Perfect. Nice and saucy. <laughs> and 
And that's it. Oh, that was good. I'm very happy I found this restaurant. I'm definitely coming back. I, I, I'm definitely. So that was Vincenzo's and I really liked it. Very, very delicious. Definitely coming back there. And uh, I think I'm done for the night. It was so nice to get out and do a video. It's been a while actually, guys. I mean, I've done some live streams and I did the cereal video, but well over a month since I've actually gotten out and about. So very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Just look how beautiful that is. I love living in Florida.